First off, before I start this video, I wanted to say that you know who you are. Why did you step over the line? And also, I wanted to say uh, thank you because I got 30 subs. So thank everyone who subscribed to me. Most of you guys are just my like friends or people I know from summer camp and all that. Uh, but thanks anyway. And a special thanks to uh, Jacob Stolzer because he got me most of my subs. Uh, because I said I'd give him a dollar if he got me 10 subs because I'm desperate and a bad YouTuber. But thanks, so okay, I'm going to actually uh, start my video now. Have a nice day. Okay, so this video is going to be a little different than my other ones. And also, uh, sorry that the lighting in the beginning is so weird. But, so I'm going to go over some of the fake Pokemon that I made. I'm not going to go over all of them because I made like 80. If you guys like this though, I might make more videos with more Pokemon in them. For this one, I'm just going to be covering my water type starters. Uh, the first stage, its name is Crumper and it's a water fairy type. Its name comes from Crumpet because I just like that word. And Purr because cat. It evolves at level 16. And in the two fake Pokemon games I made, uh, Blizzard and Drought... I gave it two Pokedex entries, and Blizzard, which generally has the happier ones, it says, A wild crumper was a sign of good luck in many cultures in ancient times. It was said if it shook its little watery necklace thing at you, uh, you would live a perfect life. Uh, and then in Drought it says, It was almost impossible to find a wild crumper, but if you do, there's an even lower possibility it will trust you as a trainer. But, if you somehow manage to acquire a crumper, it will likely become a very important part of your team. Uh, so that's just the first water starter. Now I'm going to go over its two evolutions. Well, speak of the devil, here's its evolution. Mist -a meow It comes from four words, uh, mist, uh, tomb, like the middle, and meow at the end. And also mist sorry, misdemeanor, because I just realized after I made the name that also sounds like the word misdemeanor, sort of. Uh, and like it's a ghost type. And ghost types are sometimes bad, which uh, adds more on to, like, the, the, the bad guy effect. Uh, its drought entry says, This Pokemon is a fierce underwater hunter, but it shows sensitivity. It will bury the bones of its prey in underwater graveyards next to a Pokemon of the same species. Uh, the Blizzard entry said, This Pokemon swims in the deepest waters. If prey can manage to outspeed Mr. Meow long enough, it will spare them and become their guardian from other predators. So yeah, that's just uh, Mr. Meow, the second form. Now let's get on to the final and probably best form. It's my favorite at least. And here's the granddaddy of them all. This was actually the uh, the first Pokemon that I designed, which is the reason that I basically made up my whole own region of uh, games. I didn't actually make the games. I just, like, wrote them a fake story and everything. Uh, if someone in the watching this wants to make a ROM for it, go ahead. Okay, so this one's name is Pumafrost, a mixture of the word permafrost, which is, like, it's... Like, ice that doesn't melt in the summer and stuff that's, like, underground. Uh, and Puma, because it looks kind of like a Puma. It's an ice ghost type, and, uh, this Pokemon is extremely rare in the wild. It freezes itself into blocks of ice, staying there for up to five years waiting for the perfect prey. If it sees prey laying on the ice, it will burst out and use its frozen claws to freeze it before eating. Uh, now in a Blizzard Dex entry, uh, a little happier... It says, ancient tribes told stories of a beast made out of ice that could attack quicker and fiercer than any other creature. Although, since it was made of ice, it was easily defeated. If you could land a blow, scientists, uh, if you could land a blow, scientists now believe that this creature could have been a close relative to Puma Frost. And, uh, I'm not going to show you its base stats yet, but I might in the next video. It's like a glass cannon Puma Frost, uh, because it's made out of ice, basically, so it can, like, attack really strong, but if you hit it, it's basically dead. Okay, so thanks for looking at all these Pokemon I made. Uh, I have more. I made, like, I'm not even exaggerating, like, I made at least 80 Pokemon, uh, characters, a story. I made a map. I made a pretty good map. I'm pretty proud of the map, honestly. Uh, but, so yeah, so I made this fake Pokemon region. Uh, so I'm thinking of making more episodes if people like this, because I like making uh, videos about this, because I put a lot of time into all these drawings I made. So, if you want to see more, leave a comment in the comment section, and leave a like in the like section, or a dislike in the dislike section if you hated this video and you hate all my content, which you probably should, because it's, it's not that good. Go watch someone better, and go, go sub to PewDiePie. I don't know, I'm just rambling here. 
Well, have a nice day. Uh, thanks. Remember to sub. And why did you cross the line?